Um, this is Maj Prem Baloch from Pakistan and you are watching my YouTube channel Insani Ittihad which aims to invoke a little bit of humanity in all of us. Since all of you loved my Kashmir file uh, video and like Madrasa boy, I am the attention seeker. So continuing with my attention seeking and as promised in that video that I will make um, another video uh, in regards to the same director and producers making the movie uh, Tashkan Files. Now Tashkan File is a movie in the uh, aftermath of 1965 war between India and Pakistan. Um, it is a peace uh, conference and a peace agreement was brokered by the then USSR in the uh, Central Asian Caucasus uh, of of Muslim Caucasus, basically, it was the Uzbek. It is the Uzbekistan capital, Tashkent, where uh, the Pakistani president Ayub Khan and the Indian uh, Prime Minister uh, Pandit Lal Bahadur Shastri met with the Russian uh, counterparts, and they brokered this peace deal. Uh, this peace deal not only uh, um, put Pakistan into a disadvantaged uh, position. Although Indians, all Indian uh, Indians back home also had, uh, you know, some um, concerns in regards to what was agreed in that conference, in that summit, in that agreement, but uh, Pakistan had uh, had to get the most uh, most of the hit in regards to that agreement, despite the fact that Pakistan was actually in a very good position to negotiate better terms and conditions. And this agreement and the brokering of USSR also paved the uh, uh, paved the ways uh, for the enmity that we had afterwards towards USSR. Despite the fact that USSR did help us uh, build our one of the biggest and the first steel mill in Karachi, uh, Pakistan um, highway, and. Um, and we had trade relations with uh, USSR um, before uh, the Tashkent Agreement. And um, it was a point of concern for us that no matter how good of the relations that we have with USSR, USSR does not go well with the um, US and uh, the European uh, countries. And since Pakistan at that moment had very good relations with US, USA, who helped us in our agricultural revolution and also uh, funded our uh, very big dams, uh, which were built in the 1960s, and helped us with the power generation um, infrastructure also. Uh, nevertheless, uh, India had a very, very and far deepening relationship with the USSR at that moment. So obviously more leverage was given to India as compared to Pakistan in this agreement. The um, context of this whole war, 1965 war, was uh, an operation which was carried, about, carried out by the Pakistani military and some uh, local... Um, armed uh, say militias or people who had uh, who had stakes in uh, in the Jammu Kashmir state um, even before uh, 1947 before partition uh, so um, these this operation was called the uh, Geronimo operation uh, conspiracy theories also say that US was a big part in this uh, in the design and operate operativeness of this operation in which the Pakistani army and the infiltrators uh, would get into the Kashmir Valley and uh, seize major uh, positions uh, and then uh, start a war in Kashmir to compel India to come and talk on tables with Pakistan and agree on a referendum in Jammu and Kashmir and perhaps in the Pakistan administrative administrator administrated Azad Kashmir to see the will of the people that where do they exactly want to annex themselves or be part of either India or Pakistan. 
India at that moment refused uh, to do so and therefore since they were losing uh, crucial positions uh, because of the operation uh, Geronimo, Geronimo uh, they started and they attacked Pakistan from the Wagha border that is the Pakistan-India border uh, from the Punjab and uh, the, Pun the Indian Punjab and Pakistani Punjab and Haryana and all the Punjab belt that uh, uh, India has uh, along the border of Pakistani Punjab. Um, nevertheless, uh, the, the concentration of the uh, Indian army was to uh, be um, to focus, to get the Pakistani army from uh, the Geronimo operation to come uh, at the line of control on the main areas, mainland of Pakistan, rather than go on the uh, go and fight on, on, on the um, fronts of Jammu and Kashmir and you know, Azad Kashmir of the Pakistan and Indian administrated uh, parts of Jammu and Kashmir as a whole. Um, Pakistan actually ironically and surprisingly was um, giving heavy blows to the Indian army in the, um, in, 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 the um, in, in the Punjab front um, and in fact there was uh, there were Pakistani tanks who actually infiltrated into the Indian uh, mainland uh, obviously pa Pakistan is a small country and it kind of reminds me Pakistan and India actually kind of remind me of Jordan and Israel. Uh, the composition is literally the exact same uh, because uh, Jordan is five times bigger than Israel, so is India. Um, both had uh, similar backgrounds because Pakistan is the only country in the world which was created on an ethnic and religious background and basis. Uh, although we can refer this um, this ideology to uh, to uh, Qaeda Azam and Alama Iqbal, who actually used to live in Adversity Street, which is predominantly Jewish, wealthy uh, neighborhood, and from there the uh, the Alama Iqbal, which we say that he saw the dream of Pakistan, he actually got inspired by these uh, Zionist uh, Britishers who said that you know since British has the mandate, actually the Belfast mandate was pushed by these amazing um, British and American uh, Zionists who had felt that after Holocaust there is a dire need for uh, the Jews to have a secure place in their ancestral homeland in Israel and therefore Palestine should be divided into two uh, countries, one for Arab Muslims and one for Jewish Israelis um, and then the same concept was adopted by Allah Iqbal very wickedly uh, that if you can if the British can create a state on ethnic and religious basis in Middle East why not in Asia where you know uh, Muslims had been stressing on the fact that we culturally ethnically and religiously are very different and actually quite uh, in opposite in regards to our uh, in regards to our Indian uh, Indian Hindu majority so it would be a, a, a big security threat to leave um, the Indian subcontinent as a whole uh, and actually I kind of agree with that because had India Pakistan never divided uh, West would have West Western powers would have three major powers, that is China, India, and Russia cutting their throats out and putting all this modernism, feminism, and socialism into gutters. And uh, thank God, Baruch Hashem, that uh, India was divided. And then later, um, USSR was also divided into many small independent states because um, obviously, uh, the Cold War was a bad effect for, I think, the entire world, not just the Abrahamic communities or, you know, people who believe in democratic, free, socialist societies.
um, anyway, so this uh, this uh, agreement actually uh, pressure in in this agreement actually both India, which is which was five times bigger than Pakistan, uh, uh, coupled with his superpower and super big uh, ally Russia, literally bullied Pakistan to let go and uh, the uh, territories and uh, the military. Um, military positions that Pakistan had secured inside India and go back to the uh, previous uh, state, the August uh, uh, 65 uh, uh, state where when there was no war and there was ceasefire and line of control. Uh, obviously, uh, this was a very bad move and um, Ayub Khan was especially pissed off uh, because his uh, favorite foreign minister, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, by the way, whose mother is also a convert uh, Muslim from Hindu uh, religion. So I don't know, uh, maybe India pulled some strings over there. Just kidding. That was just a conspiracy. But anyway, it was a very, very bad move from a very egoistic and so called uh, very smart uh, politician and feudal. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, he was a foreign minister. They were literally um, out of out of clue for what was happening in that agreement. They didn't even uh, bother negotiating. They just accepted the bullying of um, of the Russians and the Indians. And Zulfikar Bhutto, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was looking like a little mouse who was very scared and intimidated by these world cars. Um, another reason could be uh, there was this rift between Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Ayub Khan. Ayub Khan was more pro-West, pro-America, pro-Europe, uh, pro-British. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was more of a radical Muslim because he had, well, a little bit of insecurities because his mother was a Hindu. So he was more of a Muslim or at least he was trying to be more of a Muslim or Islamic kind of a person. He felt that uh, Muslims should align with the USSR since it's a hell of a big country and it has a lot of nukes and armaments. And um, at that time, Syria and um, Russia had a lot of ambitions in regards to dismantling and destroying Israel, uh, Zulfikar, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, to prove himself as a good Muslim and not a son of a convert a Hindu woman, he had to align with that. And India just saw uh, saw this whole thing as an opportunity, like India always does. That's their core policy. Their main. Um, foreign policy is in the prism of Pakistan and how to get Pakistan back to India and, you know, have, have this annexation. So Indian foreign policy is basically sees everything, every opportunity in the lens of India-Pakistan and actually Pakistan context and their lens is Pakistan. How to dismantle Pakistan, how to isolate Pakistan, how we can make our moves so that if we in the future and try to annex Pakistan and capture Pakistan and occupy Pakistan, how will we justify that? Even the current Ukrainian uh, uh, war and conflict, uh, Indian uh, foreign policy and Indian stance was very in the context of what if uh, Zelensky surrenders and uh, Ukraine becomes part of Russia, the same can be replicable to India-Pakistan. So that's why they, they are just so much in love with Putin and Russia. Despite the fact Ukraine has hosted more Indian students than any other Eastern European country, but who gives a fuck uh, when it comes to uh, old lovers? Uh, actually, I've, sometimes I think India is a gene-text obsessed lover of Pakistan or ex-husband of Pakistan, which just wants to get Pakistan at all costs even if it destroys the entire world. Okay, I'm kidding and being sarcastic. Um, anyway, uh, this rift between, uh, rift of ideology between Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, who was the foreign minister and later became the prime minister, and uh, Ayub Khan actually kind of, uh, uh, kind of 
made Pakistani people suffer and divide our uh, very clear stance uh, and our clear path towards uh, you know development and you know becoming a very democratic free country and who knows had um, uh, had Ayub Khan's um, intimate uh, sort of relationship with West continued, uh, Pakistan would have recognized Israel way much uh, more earlier than 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 at least India. Uh, so um, Pakistan actually came as a victim and um, had to let go of all the um, victories and all the you know potential points where, you know, it could have negotiated things in its benefit from Tashkan. And the first thing Ayub Khan did was to fire uh, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto and Zulfiqar. The first thing Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto did is made a Pakistan People Party, the biggest uh, political party in Pakistan. Later, he became more radicalized and uh, more um, Islamicized and more in love with the Russian and the Eastern side of the world. Um, and establishment, Pakistani military establishment, kept on um, going more and more into the camp of uh, the U.S. and the West, although exceptions can be made of the uh, Mullah Brigade in the uh, Pakistan military, which was siding with, again, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto. They had emotionally um, been, uh, you know, brainwashed that, you know, with our alliance with India and Russia, we can actually save um, Israel and Palestinians. Um, nevertheless, uh, um, Pandit, La Pandit um, Lal Bahadur Shastri mysteriously died in Tashkent after signing, uh, the day after he signed the Tashkent Agreement. Uh, the book, th uh, the, sorry, the movie Tashkent file actually focuses on that. So the movie actually uh, focuses on the fact that uh, um, Pandit Lal Bahadur Shastri was actually murdered and not mysteriously uh, died. It, this uh, this movie also highlights that the uh, the most anti-Semitic person in Pakistan, uh, in uh, the most anti-Semitic. Um, political leader of the subcontinent, Shubhas Chandra Bose, was actually alive and he was present at the Tashkent Agreement and he was the, the one who sort of uh, convinced the USSR and brokered this advantaged agreement uh, with Pakistan, the Tashkent Agreement. And um, it highlights that these... Um, Hindu nationalist and these patriotic Hindu uh, political leaders who are proud of their Hindu identity and who do not want a secular country but rather a very, very Hindu uh, majority and Hindu uh, country uh, in the form of India are actually murdered or sidelined by the West mysteriously because West feels threatened uh, by these uh, very uh, daring Hindu leaders. Uh, now, for Shubhash Chandra Bose, I have commented so many times that this person was the most anti-Semitic person uh, in the entire uh, subcontinent uh, political, political, political scene. Uh, so was Gandhi uh, as a Gujarati uh, merchant of uh, uh, merchant of diamonds and jewelry. Uh, he both of these uh, leaders were from influential and wealthy affluent families who were involved in business uh, or in the in the subcontinent. Of course, the East India Company was a big ticking point and a big hurting point for these. Uh, business Hindu families, especially the Gujaratis and the uh, you know Ado Ado and the Odisha and Bengali um, uh, affluent uh, merchants, uh, Hindu merchants actually have to be specific. So they were actually bothered by the East India Company, which is a, a subsidiary company of the Rothschild, Winsome Wells. 
uh, here you will have true uh, conspiracy theories busted and new very logical conspiracy theories which will actually uh, make you understand how the world works uh, through these individuals making propaganda and then sort of getting the teach getting the uh, getting the leaders and the people at power influencing them with their propaganda and self-interest to go on to wars and destroy countries and civilizations so um tune in and i would make uh, the um, next part of this video uh, in which i will continue from here and um, uh, elaborate further on so the, so that you would have two uh, videos which are a little less longer because this will if I keep on going like this it will go uh, longer and it will be a 40 minute video which you will not appreciate so I'm going to stop here and then make another video so I will upload two videos today so see you in a bit